safe. <laughs> it was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't have time to explain. Hey, such a good dad. Should we tell boss what really happened? We wanted to make. Uh, ho hold on a sec. Enemy? Up in Fate? regards to Morgana's voice. You mean a cat? <laughs> oh, this is about to get awkward. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh, sorry. Was up. Damn. I love how they're acting like it's obvious now. The big reveal of the game. Oh, it was so obvious. Anyone when paying attention could have noticed. At school festival. He was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a. To think that one little scene. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Now, see, what's funny is I remember this scene, and I thought that they, the game was saying he could barely understand Morgana. But now that I've seen the scene again, the game was really trying to give us a hint. I totally misread that scene. I did. I mis I misread that scene. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. That was dude, I but again, I I the fact that the big reveal came down to Mona one was side the scene. Only one who was talking awesome. about a pancake. That is awesome. Like it it's I'm so used to games making a big deal of the of the reveal and everything. But in this game, it was one little scene in one little side area, and if you weren't paying attention, like apparently I wasn't, it just goes right by you. That's impressive. I like that. Okay. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. That meant a Yep. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. I love that Anne was smarter than me. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. I guess the only way I can make up for this is to do my hair like Anne for the rest of my streaming career. That's all I can do. So I'll start growing my hair out, I guess. We got lucky. That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. <laughs> I love that. I love that Sai is staring at the cat right now, like it's like she's listening. But all she's doing is staring at a cat meowing. That's why we asked for Tabachan to wiretap his phone. That's a good point, Cat. Here it is. Be interested in checking the being installed so quickly. That part we got. We got that part. Utaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. In fact, I don't remember exactly, but I think we even said, "I bet she's installing spyware right now." I think we actually even said it was spyware. <laughs> At least we got one of the scenes, guys. At least we got one of them. That was just. Is this for real? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. <laughs> it's like he answered him. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy Oh wait, did Dad just say for real? No! No, Dad! They got to you too? <sighs> no one is immune. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. So Sai wow. saved a life. I will make the Shut down crimes. I gotta admit, I really hope we find out a lot more about Akechi. I would love to know how somebody who is so good at making people like him decided to go a dark route. I really hope they explain Akechi's motives and like his history and stuff. On top of Because he that, was clearly very, very good with Akechi. people. And people that are very good with people generally are decent people because their life is easier and and you know like they enjoy life because they're nice to people and people are nice to them and he was even famous he was nice to people and he was famous so someone with great this is authority. gonna be interesting i hope they go into it so great that they can order an assassination in a police station That's keep in mind guys i'm half reading chat right now so did. please don't please don't try to tell me anything through there right now <laughs> I see. I'm having so much fun with this ending. World that was the same as in reality. So, okay, that's what it was. Okay. That brings back memories. You totally God, that feels like a the year ago. There ain't any distortions around. Wow. 
We had already investigated Nijima san. I hope they also kind of make a confirmation if they actually stole the heart or not. We heard from Mako chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima san. I mean, they couldn't have stolen the heart because if they did, if they did steal the heart, the palace would have collapsed. And if the palace collapsed, then they couldn't use it for the safe room. Oh, I think I just answered my own question. Hmm. And regarding its location, there were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. Nice picture. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Mm. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Mm -hmm. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. Sai needed to hand the phone to a catchy so he'd enter the metaverse in front of the room. A perfect cognitive replica oh. of him in the metaverse's interrogation. Oh room. yeah, how did they pull that off? Since he had yet to be caught though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. Okay. After that. It was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. It wasn't unexpected. You said earlier clearly that you expected a lot of soldiers to come. You even mentioned they could bring equipment. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Which ended up being very good for you. Except that was all an act. Ah, okay. There we go. <laughs> we had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. Nice! Okay, didn't see that coming. Nice. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. That also explains why they walked off the stream, or the screen, why well, in the stream, they walked off the stream screen to get the treasure. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. Well, damn. Okay. And just as expected. Who, who got more baited, Akechi or me? <laughs> I'm confused. Which one of us got more baited? My lord. They and thought of everything. Captured by the police? It seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. Asking her about it now would drag this conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had oh. been victorious. Okay. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat that was idly nice in the, the real world's interrogation room. That, that is pretty funny. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. <laughs> so that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. I'm just glad I didn't die. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. Though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm actually gonna look over and chat for this. When I first started this game, one of my long-term viewers warned me. He said, Ko, when you play this game, just keep in mind, play it thoroughly, because you can get a bad ending. Is that the bad ending? If we had not convinced Sae to join us, would that have been the bad ending? If, if there's another point for the bad ending, don't spoil that. Yes, it was. Wow, no kidding. No kidding. So we could have potentially had like a hundred plus hour game that just... Wow. Oh, and, and actually... Thank you for not spoiling. Some other people in chat are saying there are several points where that can happen. So, thank you. In that case, I'm going to stop reading chat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> True. If I get a bad ending, that's just how it happens. That's that's our game. That's our playthrough. Whatever. So, why is that? I don't want I don't want hints on how to avoid it. Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. Thanks, guys. For real. Such a short time. Were you oh, I would have messed it up it? if I sold them out. Oh my god, I oh, I was this close to selling them out too! Holy shit! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that was that was a 50-50 for me. Um whew, okay. Whew. 
<laughs> the game saved me. Yes, it did. The game saved me. Are you sure you want to sell them out, Co? Are you sure you want to do that? Ah, well, now that you mention it, game, I don't. <laughs> okay. Don't remember. Drugs. Oh, wait. Still, I'm surprised you convinced me in a short amount of time. Were you confident you could do it? Um... Don't remember drugs. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Either way, I can't. What did you do about the body? The police never even checked it. So that answers that question. Interesting. Huh. They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. That actually really works in our favor. <laughs> Bad guys have that much. It's really good that that happened. They just wanted to avoid backlash. Uh, Dogbelly says, "Care to explain the phone and Sai part?" Uh, Fat soft Dogbelly. What happened was they basically used Akechi's phone and Futaba remotely hacked it to send people to the metaverse. So when Akechi was walking to the room in reality, Futaba pinged the phone, transferred Akechi and Sai temporarily into the metaverse. Akechi then goes in kills Ko, and as he's leaving, re-enters the normal world without even realizing that he left. And all that part about confirming the normal clothes, making sure the cognitive Ko was in there, that was all basically saying that it was good. Oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry. That's that's in, not a Ketchy's phone, Ko's phone. Yeah, sorry, I, I got the names reversed there. But um, they hacked into Ko's phone and pinged that. Yeah, okay. So wait, well, we still need to figure out Okay, so we're missing a piece here. We're missing a piece. Hold on, hold on. Very well. We're gonna let the game From keep going. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. I think I'm missing. I'm missing the piece between Sai showing the phone to a catchy. So give me a second. And feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Oh, Dad. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. What a bro. What a bro. My lord. From mess up once Let and I'll sell your ass out. back to the cops to, yeah, man. use my place for a hideout for your gang of thieves. I'd say that's about as 180 as we can get with him. <laughs> wow. What a bro. What a bro. Still, how'd you pull this yeah, off? The hair, the hair caught the fox. Isn't this guy considered dead? You weren't told anything? I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me but a heart I'm attack. I'm kind of confused as to what they think they're going to do with the body. Well, where do they think Akira's body is? The police. Aren't they gonna? I didn't have Aren't they gonna to figure explain. out he did die when there's no body? Hey, shouldn't we tell Boss what really happened? We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. Maybe there's more what? to see. What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold, hold on a sec. What's a metaverse? Enemy? Fake? <laughs> this might be a bit about? too much for old bro Jiro. The shrew copper <laughs> behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit? I see. So you guys were going up against Yes, one of your else. regulars, bro Jiro. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Yes. Akechi messed up. Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have and just said pancakes. from the beginning that Akechi was the real <laughs> culprit? It was pancakes. Akechi got defeated by pancakes. <laughs> Goro Panakechi. <laughs> he's not even a sketch anymore, he's Panakechi. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh. That wasn't something we could simply bring up. I got absolutely bamboozled by this game. Woo! Couldn't have hey. you suspect Akechi. Mm. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That mm -hmm. was a bold move. Mm -hmm. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? Pancakes. What did he do? Pancakes. Just make everyone a nice hot brew, Sijiro. Don't worry yourself about it. He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. You mean Morgana oh doesn't know Morgana can speak? Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh, sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh god, poor, poor Sajiro. Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? You still can't Does hear. Does that mean he said something just now as well? But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand mm. him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. Akechi's lame acting. I thought he was pretty damn... I don't know, there were some holes. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it. Oh, Ray how did I not earlier. notice this mega hint? I need to see it. Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about How did pancakes. I miss it? How did I miss that? Oh, God. Right under my fucking nose. <laughs> Oh, I thought I could fucking hang myself. Oh. <laughs> How many of you missed it? How many of you guys missed it? Pancakes was the clue the whole time. <laughs> how many of you noticed it? And how many of you missed it? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. I bet at the time that happened, the chat was going crazy, wasn't it? I missed it as well. I didn't. I missed it when I played. I missed it. I noticed. Orphan Boys, four game, four hours into the game, son. You should have realized. <laughs> Wait, did this happen four hours into the game? <laughs> what was everyone's reaction when I got to this part in the playthrough? I remember the chat at the time. I bet everyone was snickering and laughing and typing, Oh, I like pancakes. <laughs> oh, the mystery of the pancake. I've been wondering why, you, why you've all been typing pancakes in the chat. <laughs> at least once every stream, somebody has said they want pancakes. talking about a pancake. <laughs> that meant a catch you'd already been in the metaverse yep. by then. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest mm -hmm. one after all. We got lucky. His story was too good. He did approach us when we found ourselves in the worst That is exactly yet. what I said. I, I said after things went real south with Okamura, he did. Akechi stepped in at way too convenient a time to tee us up for the next, uh, the next palace. That, that's when I clocked it. That's when I started suspecting him. That's why we asked for Tabachan to wiretap Only his I'd phone. Only i the pancake thing. <laughs> I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. Now we just need to know what they did with his body. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Utaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act! We'll arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. You know what? I'm actually damn impressed. That, so Ryuji and everyone knew while we was going through the palace with Akechi, 
And I was suspecting a Ketchy would be in the one acting. The whole team was acting in front of a Ketchy. Oh man, Ryuji, I didn't know. I thought Ryuji would have dropped the ball without a doubt. And he was flawless. He contained all his rage, all his anger, and played it perfectly. Public security Solid. questioning will occur on the first get day. Get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own Man, life. And the has actually got a sadistic side. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. Yes. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was. Oh, this are we far going gone. into a Ketchy's palace? That'd be good. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crime. What happens if you try to go into another Phantom Thieves palace, though? On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. And it was the guy who framed Akira for assault. <laughs> That's why we had to make a move before they did. That's a huge coincidence, though. The guy, the guy who Akira happened to run into one day. It's he almost like fake. into this palace, fate. making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think okay, he killed Okay, the into this palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake. Okay. Wired a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in mm, reality. And we saw the police station from the casino was. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. Hopefully this is the wake up for some. That goes for the both of us. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking okay. the metaverse. <laughs> Wait, so that, that O is also a key, right? Yeah. First. Our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation mm -hmm. room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same mm -hmm. as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect yep. cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation that? room. Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't mm -hmm. be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from the actual living so people. Good, isn't it? The artwork is brilliant. <laughs> After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark. Right, so how did we get a cognitive replica of Kira? And how did we have blood in everything? Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected Oh, so the ambush English. was unexpected. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of oh. the metaverse. Except that hey. was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand, and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the oh. police would be coming for us. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, <coughs> he totally <laughs> took the bait. So... Him getting captured by the police went exactly As I understand it, planned. so the interrogation room was all still... That was all in Sinejima's cognitive. Well, the thing is, for it to look the, look like normal. Oh yeah, because no, he just explained it was the surrounding area. Yeah, because when we went into Kamishita's castle, the streets looked so much the same. We turned. Yeah, yeah I get, it, I get. It. Hey, Adrian. All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like she used this laptop to remotely access uh, Metaverse. Asking her about it now would drag the conversation on for too long. I should talk to her later. 
<laughs> Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite <laughs> cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. Right. Ah, uh, I can see either. I'm just glad I did not. <laughs> I'm so glad I did not. All I could do was so try glad. to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the metaverse. Mm -hmm, Albeit for a brief mm -hmm, moment. Mm -hmm. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for possible. so short a time. That's the other reason we had Wait, to give from it our experience, when did we have someone enter their own... Metaverse? Was it Futaba? Did Futaba do it? We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid yeah, in his Futaba, escape. Yeah, Futaba, wasn't it? She went... Yeah, of course she did, of course. Yeah, Futaba went in and helped us kill the, um, Wakaba. Shadow Wakaba, of course. <laughs> oh, all the pieces are slotted together. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to it the It looks like they've thought well. of every single angle, so there's no point questioning it. Let's try and find a plot hole. I think, I think Atlas have just knitted this all together solidly. I mean, hi, I had hi. to think of some way to keep you from running operation into operation was taking place within no me. No damn idea. So. Why, why, why did um, Cyanidema kind of glitch, like the little glitch in the cognitive... Uh, is it because the cognitive world would have been suspicious, or...? That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make-or-break moment of the entire plan. Still, <clears throat> I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Uh... Don't remember. Drugs. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Shall I go for the drugs option? I will go drugs option. <laughs> for its plan, I knew you'd realize the Dub Demon, picture. congratulations, Prez. You pretty much have all the pieces of the puzzle up until the po this point. You now understand pretty much everything so far. I feel so much more enlightened. Oh, this game had me running in... Riddles! Riddles. Realize that our leader was telling the truth and that there was a great evil. Although, yeah, the whole thing pursue. with the great evil, the government, the cognitive research, that's, that's still a mystery. They're, we still don't have all the answers yet. As a result, we emerged yes. victorious. Then the reason you kept Thank this you, a secret from me was so you could catch the true Doobie. culprit, correct? <laughs> Doobie. Doobie dear demon. Uh, so. I just want to quickly ask a question, so that, that, just so I've understood correctly. Akira needed to persuade Sai to be on their side. Um, was it both to A, get her to show Akira um, Akechi the phone, um, but because we were in her cognitive world, and sort of in the casino it was on high alert and suspicion, If we went to the interrogation room in the in Sinejima's palace in all cognitive world, did the room only look normal and Akira was uh, yeah, and Akira was in his normal clothes, not his phantom thief clothes, because she had trusted him by that point? Is that correct? Because uh, I think we sh it showed before the second they mistrust you, you turn into your phantom thieves outfits. Is that about correct? Or was it just the phone part? Plus, you had lost control of yourself at so the I time. So I wanted to time it out. <laughs> this is stunning. <laughs> All I can really well do done, is laugh. Well done, guys. Round of applause. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. But what yes, did you do about the on. body? Yes, spot on. Spot on. The police never even checked not it. not why. Uh -huh. They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported yeah. as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. The 
bad guys have that much influence? Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also I don't understand know how that explains the body. <clears throat> help. Uh, because nobody ever entered the room, Pez. Yeah, so eventually they're going to go to that room, aren't they? They ain't just going to leave his body in there. Um, I know the body wasn't real, but I, I don't know. That, that, like, that doesn't make sense to me. So they, they sent in a fake coroner who just passed the death certificate along. But surely said coroner would also want to deal with the body and be reporting back to the people who have corruptly paid him off. <clears throat> Akechi told them Akira is dead and they didn't bother to check. But surely they must have had a plan with what to do with the body. The body was in the metaverse, yes, but Akechi doesn't know that. He must have had a plan for what was going to happen with the body. I made sure nobody would check oh. the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he oh, survived. Oh shit, so I'm with you, Sai. I made sure nobody checked the morgue for his body. Right, so Sai got in on it. Right, 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 right. Thinking back I, to the interrogation, I, I, though. Truly glad you made it back safe. I'm beginning to feel like I want to romance Makoto for some reason. This this whole thing's <laughs> uh, it was close. It was a breeze. That's a Kira star. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How tough Akira, are you? Kira, Lord of Swag. <laughs> well, I knew right away that her plan worked right, out. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against. Ryuji's a bit on the dense so the and carefree they were all side. Shaken and <gasps> is because they weren't fully sure whether it worked. Can it, cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally Although feel the relieved. mystery of Morgana still remains. What the hell is Morgana? From here forward, I will do my utmost yes. to assist you. You so saved I need me you after all. Team. Oh man, I really wish you would awaken. Sai awakening would be amazing. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can you're to not help 16, too. 17. Just let me know. <clears throat> Let's take a break for now, though. This oh my god, imagine is... Sejiro awakening. <laughs> That'd be incredible. <laughs> oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you you're just kind of awakens into like a big cup of coffee outfit with his curry persona. Just. <laughs> You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word and I'll close shop early. Although, sure? we're not out the woods yet. Remember what Akechi said. He's going to keep tabs on these guys and eventually one by one try to pick them off in inconspicuous ways. We ain't out of the woods yet, guys. We ain't out of the woods yet. Zero Thorn. <sighs> Don't worry, get Pez. The game still has awesomeness left. Leave. Plus, no you won't doubt. make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Bro. Let us accept his offer. Great man, a indeed. great man. <laughs> the summary of the story up to this point has been updated. Wowza. What a chapter to read. Press the triangle button. <laughs> oh. Mistaken. I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. That's why he's so linked to pancakes. Because that's the thing that fucked him over. <laughs> Mona was acting us. It seemed I trained by pancakes! His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one after all. Oh my god, it's just about the pancakes. Checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. Oh, that is so smart. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Futaba's quirky nature to proved pancakes. to be a great help. <laughs> I'll deal with them after that. And I, and I, like, 
Let me see. It's it's so extra. He's so extra. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. <laughs> we'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence. Is this for real? Yes. <laughs> I can only on guess who's the... that. There's someone else commanding Akechi. I want to say I think we could but whose palace is are we Someone going after with great now? authority. Cool. All right, but yeah, uh we got a donation that I'm going to replay right now. If it loads. There we go. Yo, I will make use of this. Arigato yo. After years of being eaten by you humans, <laughs> I have saved your Akira and revealed much to all. Now, pour some sugar on me and embrace the glory that is me. All hail Pancake Coon. <laughs> Thank you for the three heroes. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> there were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation Yo, room. I will make use of this. Arigato yo. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. What the fuck is going on? What is even real life? What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you for the year. <laughs> this seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. Oh, that fucking drawing is cute. Asking about it now would drag the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. <laughs> the fucking drawings are amazing. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. <laughs> Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself <laughs> in that quiet chamber. <laughs> Akira, known as the biggest, smirkiest, cockiest person alive. <laughs> so that's why you gave me your phone. That's why Akira was so cocky during the beginning. Because he knew it was a fucking plan. <laughs> all I could do was try to handle all the messages that started Yo, coming to me on his phone. I will make use of this. Arigato yo. Glad to see you're enjoying this so much and that it's brought you on such a roller coaster of emotions like it at me. Strap in, a catchy being betrayed by the one thing he loved is only just beginning. Huh. <laughs> Thank you, Remy Fricks. So in other words, astounding. I hadn't the slightest Yo, idea that I such a make grand operation was taking Arigato. place within me. It was fun sitting in an empty room for 60 hours. That's <laughs> little two euros a cure. My death certificate. The bad Yo, guys have I will make use of this. Arigato. Your mind really wanders alone in a room like that. A shame I won't be able to regale a catchy with my new ideas for pancake food play. <laughs> Thank you for the four years of Kyakun. It was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. <laughs> My God! <laughs> I gotta show this on stream. Fucking! I can't believe this. I can't fucking believe. This. I can't fucking believe this. <laughs> Just, I lived big. <laughs> My interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna understand any of that. Enemy? He was the traitor, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. 
You mean a cat? Oh, right, you can't understand the cat. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Are we gonna see that scene again? Because, yeah. When we talked to a cat way earlier. Because I missed that hint. Because oh. none of you, I thought you guys were talking about pancakes. Huh. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. Really? Okay. That meant a catchy doll. I mean, to be fair, the game was pretty much at, after a certain point, like, hey, guys, guess what? This guy's totally, like, a traitor to you? I wasn't really sure about, like, the whole true culprit thing, though. Could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. I mean, that was really fast. Futaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. <laughs> quirky. That's an understatement. It was just an act. Sure. But to think he was this far gone. I mean, he does sound like a psychopath. You're not wrong. Had to make a move before they did. And we heard him say his name on his phone, though, right, dog? It happened in my cognitive world. You had this amazing outfit and this back tattoo. We're she gets sorry. oddly impulsive. Yeah, like the time she went to a goddamn mafia's bar. I From did. My laptop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm <laughs> while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Oh, okay. This is good storytelling, by the way. <laughs> like, I went into a lot of work. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. And it's like, uh, like, yeah, I didn't, I kind of figured out who the, you know, obviously who the traitor was going to be, I, I mentioned before, but the, the metaverse stuff, I didn't really like, yeah, they didn't even really hint at that stuff at all until, uh, well, up until the point I saw the purple shadows However, or flash. It was then get it out of the metaverse. Okay. Except that was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. Huh, okay. This was because we knew. That explains why the palace wasn't like collapsing and stuff like that. Him getting captured. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like she used the, this laptop to really access the metaverse. <laughs> Asking her about it now would drag this conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. I love the art. <laughs> must have been truly hilarious in that quiet chamber. Yeah, no, I do that. Operation was taking place within me. You know, me either until just recently. I'm pretty worried about that part. I'm a charming man. How, why were you worried? You could do it. Yeah, I'm sort of a like a sort of a lady, like a sort of yeah, sort of a ladies' man. There you go. Good, good joke there, Kronos. I don't remember. Drugs. <laughs> Understandable. His death was reported as a suicide. Okay. The coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. Oh, what an asshole. The bad guys have that much influence? Shocking. Murder that, nobody knows he survived. It seems odd that no one would actually ensure that. Back to the interrogation. Then again, Akechi thinks he shot him in the head and poked him with the gun, so. You made it back safe. Yeah, me too. Uh, it was a breeze. <laughs> How tough are you? Man, I'm level 53. Is that tough? It's still suspicion. I mean, it was only like a day, right? Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Uh, two days. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. Also, Haru, girl, we need to talk. Like, we need to finish your confidant and get rid of your fucking fiance. I wanted to. Very well. Oh, do you know your I'm boss is dead? I will do my utmost to assist you. I'm gonna assume you don't. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Dog, can you make, like, 90 curries? Let's take a break for I've now. never used any of them, but I'm ha having 99 of them would be like a godsend. Oh, the liveliest joint in town. Wait, I can't leave? It won't be a huge loss for me. I know I'm supposed to be dead, but I got friendships to make and women to date. Let us accept his offer. I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. You're right. 
Still, how'd you pull this off? I like how Sojido is really in the loop, but he would have, have to, to be. be. Yeah. It's like, okay, don't freak out, all right? <laughs> and since they didn't release his name. Yep. They didn't release his identity, so it can't actually damage Jiro. Yeah. Since they haven't said his name. You're right. Isn't this guy considered dead? <laughs> well, some guy is. Some That's person true. accused of being the ringleader of the Phantom Thieves that is dead. That must be what Sai did. You weren't told anything? Oh, you're right, because who had that signed confession? Mm hmm And, um... Well, no, the police were like, you're, okay, no, they had the confession. But I guess there's no reason that he had to write his real name. I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. <laughs> it was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. Okay, so that means he didn't sleep in the metaverse, which is probably much healthier. <laughs> I didn't have time to explain. <laughs> well, she was bringing him, wasn't she? Yeah. Hey. Uh, what? <laughs> what we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. The, the what? What? Oh, he. Well. Yeah. Uh, hold, hold on a sec. Yeah, he'd have, he'd be familiar with it from enemy fake. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the traitor, didn't you? Maybe. He messed up. No, I don't like that. He was too suspicious. Yeah. I mean, he ultimately. Was, yeah. Just. Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. Just too frequently, and mm -hmm. he and he kept proving that to be true. Unfortunately, but yeah, uh, we're not going to talk about that anymore. He made one fatal mistake. Pancakes. But couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. Because like they said, we needed to trace him back to where yeah. where he was getting his orders. Because that's the person that has to be taken down. Mm -hmm. We couldn't Phantom have you. thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. Like, she had to go through all of that to be brought to this point. Yeah. And, and that was time consuming and difficult. Yeah. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. We didn't have a choice. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. <laughs> uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? I like how he's like still so far behind he's trying to be involved. He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. You mean a cat? <laughs> okay, nobody ever told you about the cat. Okay, Metaverse, you got that because, I mean, you knew Wakaba. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you were at this research center as, like, a government liaison. So, you okay, you, you, you've, you've handled that. You already know about the whole Phantom Thieves thing because we've dealt with this already. I guess we may as well tell you about the cat. Yeah. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh... uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. I, I like how Sai is like, yes, it's a talking cat. <laughs> you surprised? Does that mean he said okay. something just now? <laughs> <as well? laughs> Most likely. So that's how it works. Gotcha. But now it's been clarified. Yeah. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. <laughs> okay, so if that is the way it works. Then that would mean that he would... That he had been spying on them then. Or he knew Morgana before they ran into him in the first palace. Either of those are correct, yes. Or could be correct, yeah. One of those two. Yeah. Morgana doesn't know, but... Or do, doesn't know him, but well, Morgana... He doesn't remember. He's an, yeah. has, has got amnesia, so... Well, then Arkechi was even like, ah, it shouldn't be a problem. He, he's just, he's a, just cat. a cat. So I doubt that it was that. But that's possible. That could be the case, and I wouldn't be that surprised. Yeah. So he was following the Phantom Thieves around, but how did Possibly. he know where the Phantom Thieves were then? See, we weren't surprised. Or, hold on. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. The reason that we had assumed that you had to be a Persona user to hear Morgana talk is because of that scene with Akechi. Right. Because we thought there's no way that he would have already known Morgana. Morgana. Right. And, or, or, um, so, so the fact that it turns out that you just have to hear Morgana talk 
means that Akechi obviously would have had to have heard him talk at some point right. before then. When did that happen? Was that was that was before, before Madarame? He, yeah, that's Yusuke what I was wasn't getting there. at. So it, it so how would he have been around in the it's common probably, Hida section? It's probably he knew Morgana before the others ran into him. Because there's no reason that he would have had anything to do with Kamoshida at all. Right. That meant Akechi'd already been in the metaverse by then. Meaning that meaning that Morgana is connected to all that stuff yeah. in whatever way it is, okay. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. Of course, we're not surprised that Morgana is is connected to something like that, whatever, right. what, however it may be, because we've been assuming that too. Right. That's why we asked for Tabachan to wiretap his phone. Actually, um... You approached him. He didn't approach you. Right. Well, okay, that I mean, once he had already come, then he did call you yeah. into the room, but Sounding while I was doing it though. It was so exciting. We <laughs> Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Yeah, I was about to make some sort of a joke about that. I mean, what did she have to do? Just like make a quick Ah, I'm not gonna worry about Papa's that. quirky nature proved to be a great help. That's one of those details that that one I'm, yeah. I don't care about. It doesn't matter whatever that it is. It's just an act. The. Uh huh. After a few days. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. It's a good thing that the police are so just following orders e to not question going into another goddamn dimension. Yeah, that's pretty that big deal. Weird. <laughs> in fact, when we first heard that line. Uh, this, I mean, we actually didn't quite catch it that the police were being drawn in there because there was so much other stuff yeah. going on. That would be the only after to destroy the evidence, though. Though it appears that he has moved to, like, Puerto Rico to live a life <laughs> out under an assumed name. <laughs> <laughs> so they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Maybe that guard will end up having, like, his own series about it. <laughs> Like, you know, it goes to his shady past and, like, currently he's, like, a something of, like, a crime-fighting assassin <laughs> type. He'll end his own life. And no one will question it until we use the mental shutdowns for our own gain again. Well, it, it would be fine as long as they don't need to do that. That's why if, by eliminating everyone they want ah, to have eliminated now. I see. When he does. Yeah, when we were seeing the stuff leading up to Sai's palace, it looked like it was exactly the opposite. That Akechi was being extremely calm and rational and yeah. smooth, and that Sai was the one who was getting like a little hysterical. Detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she is super, super interested at this point. Right? Curious, sorry that's the word. I'm using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. <laughs> on the real world, after all, anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's very true. Yeah. yeah, we even pointed out how drab it was. Yeah, that's right. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Ah. With Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. That must be why the police didn't notice anything untoward. Yeah. They, so they didn't really get, because like outside and inside, like in most of the, okay, okay. Because with Kamoshida's palace, it wasn't warped till you actually got to it. By sending, by sending the police in, they're not in like some crazy other world. It's like some interesting phenomenon is going to happen, but it's like everything still seems like normal. So that makes it less weird and dangerous yeah, to yeah. use it on the... And like you were talking about about the follow orders, uh -huh. they didn't really understand it was a supernatural world. Ah, uh, how nos she? Yeah, <laughs> not scushy. How nostalgic! You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. And like Kaneshiro, we had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. And like Kaneshiro, if there weren't any of the ATM people around, it looked like regular Shinjuku. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. Same with Madarame's as well. I mean, all of them, apparently. Mm -hmm. We're heading up our operations. Basically the leader, which... I, I still just have really mixed feelings Look, about. David, if one piece has taught me anything, it's that the leader only needs to be good at fighting. I guess, <laughs> there, I guess you can apply the uh, one piece tactic as well, yes. Makoto is normally so calm as well. 
But once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. What an understatement! <laughs> I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. <laughs> That's one way of putting it, yes. Oh, for goodness sake! Makoto even has the rivalry with the villain! Yeah! But You're I just right. couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. And she actually did just sort of stay quiet stewing. Mm -hmm. I wasn't myself at all. I guess she fixed it. The question is, did they go ahead and take the treasure? No, they didn't take the treasure. They'd have it. So, yeah, they just left and she fixed it herself. Yeah. That's just fantastic. That's I'm awesome. I'm really glad that this worked out for her. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. I mean, people like her are who they need in the legal system. Yeah, exactly. Use the data from my laptop? Well, I mean, what? Yes. Who else could it have been? Of course. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm <laughs> while we were checking the metaverse. Okay, that is amazing. <laughs> First... Our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Oh. Yeah, that's why that's why they uh, they'd hopped out. Oh, I see. Yusuke, Makoto, and Futaba yeah. were like, okay, everything set them. Because otherwise, his fake would look like yeah. Joker. Yeah. Or T sort of, maybe. Real world. The fake was a fake, and I and and the fake came from the fake was always going to look like Nakamura Jiro. Yeah. Because the the because the cognitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jiro was created because Sai knew he was there. Right. Because this is in Sai's palace. Right. Um, but where where Jiro actually was was in the real world, so... Well, yeah, if Akechi was in the metaverse, he wouldn't have actually been interacting with Jiro. Oh, right. No, no, that... Okay, that's why the clothes... That's why the clothes needed to be there, because otherwise yeah. Akechi would have walked in in his metaverse outfit. Yes. One of them. Whichever one. Of him in the metaverse's interrogation room. I love those glasses. I, again, yes, those are good. I'm again. This had to have come from Sai, right? That yeah. Was... Like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark. And in the party. Oh yeah. And up until we defeated Sis's shadow. So did something wrong happen? However, it was ah. then that we were met with. Okay, they did, there were a couple lines like that uh -huh. while this was going on. But if they would have taken the treasure... But they couldn't get it out of the metaverse. I know, oh. I know, but I'm saying, mm. why would if they took it, then wouldn't it actually make the plan not work? Yeah? Because the... Except that was all in Okay. Yep, okay. okay but, right. We had prepared an empty... we knew the police would be coming for us. <laughs> yeah, I thought that this, was, yeah. that this was the plan, and for her to suddenly say, like, it wasn't... Right? It was just a quick turnaround on us. the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. <laughs> and just as expected, he totally took the bait. He really did get completely played <laughs> in the Fee's grandest moment. <laughs> yeah. Cognitive world's interrogation. The phone. All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> It seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. Can we have more scenes like this, please? I love how Futaba looks evil yeah. there, and how Sae is like... A man. <laughs> is the look on her face. Asking her about it now would drag the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace <laughs> and left thinking he had been victorious. And he's got the sharp teeth. Yeah. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. I mean, nothing happened. Surely he was acting <laughs> quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <to> myself. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't die. I mean, because we kind of did once. Ah, that's part of the experience, all I could right? Do was try yeah. to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. <laughs> 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 So in other words, I've been to the metaverse, albeit for a brief moment. Yeah. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. We That's know true. this. We know this for a fact, as it has happened. But see, I can return you to the real world as well. Oh. It's too bad that uh, th that her shadow was that she didn't get a chance to talk to her shadow right? and gain a persona while she was yeah. there. <laughs> it's taking place within me. Yeah, it is. That's the way to put it, yeah. Pretty awkward, but that's it. 
easily our greatest gamble. Max Charm. Now, we know at this point, because because the interrogation has been going on throughout the entire game, uh -huh. but the thieves had no idea. Yeah. Makoto was sort of hoping Sai really is a good person, mm -hmm. and her, she she really, like, fervently believes in justice, and this matters to her. The only thing you can do is just convince her, and that's what it, the whole thing was riding on. Yeah. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. We knew that it was going to work because of, like, her personality. Yeah. But we'd been getting that throughout the whole game. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? Short? <laughs> Maybe to you it was short. Drugs! I was because of you. I see. Yeah. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. We didn't have a choice. There, what else could we have done? If we could just have lost control of yourself at the time. Yeah. You go a little crazy. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. So something they haven't really gotten to is addressing the whole Shido thing. Well, they don't they technically have, know yet? Well, didn't they already get the name from the... We haven't seen... They haven't... Futaba has not been like, and here's the culprit. Uh, yeah, so yeah. we don't know if she's even checked yet. They haven't made it yeah. that far. Yeah. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill of it. <laughs> but what did you do about the body? Didn't have to. It just dissolved on its own. The police never even checked it. Wow. Huh. They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. So. Ah. Why even bother? That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. Corruption! <sighs> the bad guys have that much influence? <laughs> I like that he's like the oldest the person there, but he's using such otherwise. simple terms. We also knew of a possible conspirator. <laughs> yeah! Well, he's... They've got all this I, I know, stuff going on, and he's like, I haven't had anything to do with this. <laughs> and so it's like he doesn't even have the basics, and he's just following the law. <laughs> I know. But, I mean, at this point, it's quite clear that he's like, well, anyway, these kids are doing the right thing. Yeah! There's no question about that. Thanks to Futaba-chan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. Yeah, that was that was really slick how oh, she yeah. dealt with the guard. Reported on the news, just as a catchy plan. And does Sai know what happened to the director? Maybe not yet. It's been pretty and hectic. That confusion. Thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Like she's been busy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. That's that's why we've got to stamp this corruption out. Mm -hmm. How many how many people have been affected by this? I mean, it's. It's a conspiracy that stretches through the literally the highest level yeah. of government as of the next election. How is you seated back safe? Me too. Too bad we're not dating. <laughs> it was. I don't close. remember much. <laughs> it was close because yeah. we did actually get the other ending the first time. <laughs> I almost became one of your in my heart. No. Oh. Well. I knew right away that her plan worked out. He did. It's he was like, we got him. <laughs> I wanted to believe by considering what we were up against. Yeah, Makoto had, had the worst reaction. Yeah. Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Damn, Skippy. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> of course, that, that makes him that much more unshakable when he knows yeah. when he knows what's right. And he doesn't get distracted by his extraneous things to think too much about. Uh huh. So it's easy for him to keep his faith. Can it, cat? In his best friend, you know? Right, right. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty bad, pretty bad. That's the whole point, is, is to, like present the, the, the facade of yeah. actually operating uh, legally. Mm -hmm. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist I you. I mean, all of this crap, all of this corruption needs to be stamped out, excised, and burned. It needs to be excised with all the precision of a lumberjack. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> no collateral damage. <laughs> okay. Or at least... No more than you can you can't true, prevent. True. You saved me after all. Though I do think it would be really good to not reveal to the public the existence of the supernatural in an irrefutable way. Right. That's 
That's reassuring to hear. Though I suppose, depending on what town you're talking about in Japan, in the Persona universe, this may have already happened, but not to the public at large. Yeah, yeah. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. This sounds really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, do you, do you have a palace? Do you want to confront your shadow? Do you want to join? You should totally join, boss. Come on, Coffee Dad. Yeah, I want some adults in the team. Let's get some Persona 2 going. Eternal punishment! <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, this would not have been possible without Sojiro. If Sojiro yeah. didn't discover the calling card that yeah. Kutaba kept, and they didn't actually spill the beans about this, what would the have happened? beans? I guess I did say that, yeah. What would have happened? Sai would have come to drop to, to drop Jito off. And he'd be like, what the hell's this? Yeah, but instead he was he just went along with it. And and now they have like a real base. Yeah. That they can safely use, so it really was a good coincidence. You know what could really help us, Sojiro san, is if you make some master coffee. <laughs> yeah, do you just want to make master coffee for us all day long? Use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. <laughs> we can use the first floor now. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word and I'll close shop early. Not like he gets any business anyway. Yeah. Are you it's not sure? like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. It, I know, right? It's almost like some of us talk really loud. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty big loss for Sojido, but yeah. I mean, he's 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 doing it to help everything along. We can keep him afloat with the money from Meadows. <laughs> yeah, can, can we just like pass you a whole bunch of money? Like, it's totally cool. Here's a million yen. <laughs> Ah, uh, reporting it on your taxes. Oh, yeah. Almost gave me a heart attack. Yeah, thanks for the heads up, guys! In the oh, hold, hold on a sec. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I'm sorry. This, I, I'm like, I don't know how any of this shit works, though. You might start from the very beginning. The very beginning. Moment you got arrested. Ah, oh, goddammit, daddy, really? Alright, come over here, sit down, and tell me the whole fucking story. Alright, here we go. We're gonna start level one again. We're gonna work our way back up. Yep. We're, we're hitting New Game Plus early this time, guys. You gotta beat the game twice in order to get the true ending. Ah, god damn it! Fuck! 61 more episodes later. Okay, we good up. We all ready now? Okay, here we go. Something like that, would you? Right. And even then, if we did, it was I catch you would realize he was compromised, and then we would probably be fucking dead. <laughs> true. Very clever, though. You know, I really um. I really felt like it's gonna end up being a catchy, right? I just that, That's what I've been feeling this whole fucking Let's Play, especially after the pancake thing. But the fact that we knew about it, that we figured it out ourselves in the game, it's like, it's st this is still catching me off guard. It's still giving me a, a, a little bit of a twist. So if the actual catchy twist isn't, the fact that we knew about it and had this plan f laid out, that's a good twist. And I gotta say, it's surprisingly satisfying. I'm just, I'm like, I'm in awe of this. I'm like, oh my god, I don't believe this. I, I thought for sure. I was like, if it's going to be a catchy, I'm going to be just so disappointed. There's nothing that's going to save this. It's just going to be like, fuck, you know? But, goddamn. A catchy was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. Yeah, it's because you're a dumbass. In other words, you left. You mean our cat? Oh, yeah, our cat can talk, daddy. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh. uh... <laughs> Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. Uh, oh, oh, of course it is. Understand him in reality. Ah, okay. It's a change in cognition, most likely. Okay, I thought it was because we had phantom thief powers, but they just need to hear that. So can I, may I do that for these guys then? Please, we passed on the way here. Wow, oh. <laughs> Wow, just wow. This is probably another reason why the whole pancake thing really stuck in, because this is the thing that actually ended up actually screwing him. I see. This really was all planned out, though. Even the story-wise, this ended up being what was what we used against him. Hey, I'm pretty. I'm proud of myself that I. I mean, I don't know. Did, did most people notice this? Did you guys notice it on your first time playing through that? What happened with Akechi there? I thought it was just the the de developers of the game being like, trying to be coy, like, like oh, we're gonna put this little thing in there. And I, it kind of pissed me off initially because I thought it would ruin the surprise. But it's actually being used in the game to help us to solve this. And that's just so much better. It's such, this ended up being such a smart idea. I'm so impressed. Oh, am I mistaken? 
I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> he said delicious pan- Did somebody say delicious pancakes? Who said it? <laughs> he honestly wanted to have pancakes with us. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we had done that, maybe just that day, if we had gone out and had pancakes together, he wouldn't have turned into such an evil psycho bitch. Yeah. Well, we'll never know now, right? <laughs> yeah. What a stupid asshole. Got lucky. His story was too good. He did phone. Here we I go. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. Okay, we're going into full detail now. All right. Nature proved to be a great help. <laughs> that was just an act. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. You dole those hands. After a few days of listening, I'll deal with them after that. Yeah. Very cool. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm relieved too. I just, I feel so relieved. Let me see. After to destroy the evidence, though. I, I initially thought that there was like another guard in the room, but it was the same guard that was guarding outside. So yeah. And then the fact that when Sai walked up there, you kind of realized, oh wait, he's not dead. Yeah. Okay. So they yeah. plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Ah, uh, damn, dude. Well then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. I didn't realize he'd like walked into the room with the catchy at the time. And thus, as will I, of course. Your right hand man and little pet bitch. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone. <laughs> we were saying the same thing about you earlier, Sai. <laughs> what a fucking turnaround. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. Well, I think I'm still a bit unsure of then. Did we not steal a uh, size treasure at all then? I see. I feel like we should be able to figure it out pretty easily now, right? Who's gonna be the great hero? How do we set up the uh, fake me though? Are we gonna go into more detail about that now? We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, oh, okay. making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? Thank you. What exactly happened in my cognitive world? Okay, good. I, I was, I was kind of afraid we we're just gonna like just skip past that. It's like, like, hey, you, you kind of get the rest, right? <laughs> no, not really. I'm sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. Do they, so do they take the underground area or, or the back hall area and make it look like? Uh, oh. Oh. We went to the, oh. We went across the street in the metaverse to the real place, but we're still in the metaverse and we use the underground area there. So when we uh, gave Ketchy the phone, somehow we transported him to the fake world. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. Yeah. <laughs> that brings back memories. We had no idea. Not till we got to school. That brings back memories, man. You told me. it, but I went along with it. <laughs> it's because you're a dumbass. It was a great idea. It was reckless. We had to trust it. It's a fucking great idea. Yeah. There were two things we were able to confirm ah. while we were checking the metaverse. <laughs> oh, look. There's good me and evil me. First... Our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. I see. Okay. In the Metaverse's interrogation room. Okay, how do we pull that off exactly? Since you... Oh. Oh. Because... Oh. It. Because we're still in her palace. She realized she thought I was still in there. Therefore, she made a fake cognitive version of me. Oh, holy shit. Actually, I think the fact that her palace was still there means we didn't steal her treasure, right? Because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to pull this off. Shadow. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of uh, like, like Ocean's Eleven or something where at the end we're like, now we see how it all came together. However, get it out of the metaverse. Oh, okay, so that, that wasn't part of the plan. Okay, I thought I thought we knew he was gonna do that though. Except that was all an act. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? You have to set up like that? Ah, go get it, you go. Fuck you. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand, and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this was. Because oh, I'm so happy everything's getting explained. I was kind of nervous so it wouldn't be. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. Yeah, I couldn't do without the torture path, though. That, that, that part kind of sucked. 
It seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. Ah. Uh, asking her about it now would drag the conversation on too long, so just talk to her later. Oh, okay. Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. <laughs> ah, yes, good. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, I wonder how, real, I wonder how fake me is doing right now. <laughs> uh, dead. Surely he was <laughs> acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. Oh, you know me so well, Yusuke. Let's do it, just sitting there cross-legged, just my evil cock ass smile. I couldn't see it either. There's no time. I'm just glad I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I was kind of wondering. I was like, how did I ever run into him again? What are you doing here, bitch? Taste pancake blades! Ah! <laughs> Cuts her freaking head off. Ah, damn it, I knew it. The pancakes are his weapons. I'm wondering, how do we fool the police then into thinking I'm actually dead if that was all took place in the metaverse? I guess, did they see it and then somehow we brought him back again? They saw the fake me too? Huh, astounding. Or is it just, were they going based off word of mouth? I hadn't oh. the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. Oh, that's probably it. They, it was because Akechi told Shido that I was dead, so they told everybody else I was dead. But I'm wondering, what, didn't they expect someone to go in and clean it up or something? Or they're just going to leave my lifeless body down there forever? <laughs> I mean, right? And they go back to other, hey, where'd the body go, dude? Akechi's like, ah, somebody probably took care of it. Time. Were you confident you could do it? <laughs> Short time, my ass. I was. Not at all. Don't remember. Drugs. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> what are we talking about again? I've I kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. But what did you do about the body? Oh, good. Yes. Daddy, how you on this shit? The police never even checked it. Huh? Huh? That much influence? Again, though, were they just going to leave my body in there then? To escape with Nijima-san's help. I just kind of expected someone would go in and clean it up at some point, right? And then be like, hey, there wasn't a body in there, but maybe it will eventually. But either way, it was too late. I mean, it's already been on the news. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body. And oh. thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Oh, uh, okay. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. <laughs> yeah, I got drugged up good. The callous use of violence? And even drugs is utterly abnormal. By the way, guys got no more. I need a hookup, guys. Uh, oh, my neck's itching. Nico Kun. It was close. I don't remember much. It was a breeze. I, I don't remember much. Here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. That's why the SIU guy was so sort of begrudging, like, uh, just like. Fine, do what you want. Like, I don't want to fight you with this. Let you do your interrogation. When you're done, we're going to go in and murder his ass. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. So it seems like I actually did. I gave her a change of heart. Like, but I, a change of heart through just the normal means, as opposed to stealing her, uh, her distorted desires. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, but yeah, I'm here. I, I can make curry! Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. Uh, I like how everybody's now sort of been included. Even Daddy and Sai. We're all a team. Oh, great Thank man. You. I didn't know there was a little cubby back there. Daddy, where'd you go? <laughs> I thought there was like a, de a wall over there. <laughs> so many of the story's been up to this point. All right, wow. That was a lot of plot. That was a lot of stuff happening. About. Oh boy, do we have a long story for you. Why don't you brew some coffee and uh, we'll we'll tell it to you over a cup of piping hot Joe. Uh, yeah, he he messed up. Gazunhai done fucked. <laughs> Gazunhai done goofed. <laughs> now we get to clock him. Oh, oh, the clocking of Akechi. That is going to be such a sweet moment. I can't keep up with any of this. You know. <laughs> well, to be fair, we haven't, like, told you anything about what happened. I mean, Sai has had the benefit of hearing my entire testimony uh, for the last, like, six, seven months. You just kind of learned about this last month, and nothing was explained to you. You mean a cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't know that either. Yes. More guys can talk. Uh, uh. <laughs> he thinks we're crazy! 
I mean, I would too if I were him, but still. Sorry. Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> nope, no joke. Hmm. I guess we got lucky. I mean, hmm. I mean, because at that point, he didn't know who we were. So he probably thought that that was one of our voices, not Mona's. He didn't know that Mona existed as a talking cat. He'd never seen him before. So yeah, we we did indeed get lucky. That said, I'm more so naive to over like that. Yeah, of course. Totally. Totally not naive. I didn't I didn't not know that. No, not at all. Oh shut up you guys, you know I'm a derp. As will I, of course. Or he'll become a great fool who saved Japan from getting clocked. Because he'll get clocked instead. Yeah, it was imperative we do so. I see. I see. So it's all coming together now. I mean, it's starting to make sense, but I still want to know the exact we baited science behind it. Okay, this is what I don't get. How did we have a fake? Whose fake? Uh, well, obviously it was our fake, but where did it come from? Not our own cognition. It couldn't have been. Can you elaborate on that? Elaborate on that? What exactly happened in the world? Uh, you were a total bitch, and we had to slap you around a few times. Meaning, uh, oh, wait a minute. Place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warm looks just like warm. So the room itself was actually, quote unquote, a palace, but just just in the cognitive world. That's true. <laughs> that brings back memories. That it does. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions or distortions around. We had already suggestion to us. That's also true because think of mementos. Everything about mementos is exactly the same way it looks in the regular world, until you step into the train station. That itself is the palace. Outside of the palace is the regular world, but in the metaverse. Okay, now it's that part is making sense to me. But where the hell did we get my cognitive self that Akechi killed? Right, because since it wasn't a palace, there was nobody view us as a threat. So we would just be in our normal clothes. Okay, this is what I want to know because I don't understand this part. Wait, what? That's it? I, I still don't get it. How did you make it look like me? Ah. Oh, okay. Here's the trick. <laughs> keep your allies close. Keep your enemies close, but your allies closer. Is that it? I feel like I just got that quote wrong. Eh, whatever. Oh god, her evil laugh. It seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. What? Seriously? <laughs> she can do that? Oh, I love that little picture. Asking her about it now would drag the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. <laughs> can she dispose of <laughs> Yeah, I I'm just glad I didn't die, dude. This is true, so you got dragged in and then immediately taken right back out. Yeah, I even almost fucked up the first time. We got this right on the first time, right guys? Right? Right? Were you confident you could do it? You could do it? I don't remember. Drugs! Understandable, understandable. <laughs> So they never even bo bothered to look at the body. So there's nothing left. Bad guys have bad guys have that much yeah, this goes all the way to the top, dude. Eh, yeah. I'm not even gonna get into how crazy that is. Yo, I love you too. I love you too, girlfriend. Girlfriend ad. Um, <laughs> it was a breeze. How tough are you? How tough are you? I don't know. How stupid are you? Yay! Fem Edgeworth is on our side, everybody. 
great man. Yeah, Coffee Dad is the best, isn't he? I love Coffee Dad. Summary's been updated. Wow, that is some heavy stuff. So how is this gonna work now? I can't leave, can I? Thank you so much. I am loving this freaking game. That was such a great payoff. Like, the last hour of simply, like, the last hour was just, like, plot. And I fucking loved it. Still, how'd you pull this? Also, I've been streaming for nine hours so far. <laughs> like, going on nine hours at this point. How did, dude, oh my god. Dude, they really had me going. I was like, they just saw me die. All of them are, like, devastated. They had me going for a second, but they all knew it was a ruse. Isn't this guy considered dead? Yep. Which means if I'm dead, I can live with you forever now because I don't have to go back home because my parents are going to think I'm dead. They dumped him off and told me to keep him safe. <laughs> Just freaking dumped him on the freaking counter or something. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a Almost heart gave me a, yeah, tell me, tell me about it, Sojuro. Tell me about it. I didn't have time to explain. My god. Hey, shouldn't we tell boss what really happened? I mean, might as well, he knows. We wanted to make our enemy in the metaverse. Dude, that was so calculated. <laughs> that was so calculated. I was on that, I was like, are they in the metaverse now? Like, cause that, like he saw the phone and then like that shift happened. And then it happened again at another point. I'm like, what is happening right now? Here was to determine their identity. Dude, this was so. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a better payoff in a video game in my life. And we're not even done with the game. That was so well executed. And there's so many context clues here and there. And then they go back and make full, full content, like just bring the full. It's so good, dude. My God, I cannot believe how good the story Pretty is cool. so far. I see. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. Yep, the guy who loves your coffee so much. Mm. <laughs> Akechi messed up. More like Akechi done fucked up. That's what that that's what should have been this response. Akechi done fucked up. Yes. Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. Yeah. He made one fatal mistake. Don't fuck with the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? Yeah, that would have helped. That would have set my heart at ease because I was like, please don't let it be him. And then they're like, him? You mean it's he's the one? Like, just fucking say his name. That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Yeah. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? True. Jesus Christ, dude. The whole gang, dude. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe it, dude. Like, now we're all working together. Akechi was God, good. I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it takes a while. Uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. Yep, the pancakes. You fucked up, my boy. You mean our cat? You know what I'm so mad about also? I went to IHOP last week. I went to IHOP last week because of Akechi. I was like, Akechi's my boy. I got these pancakes because of you. I love the fact that you're like on our team now and you're a Phantom Thief. I am so mad right now. The pancakes were delicious by the way, but I'm just so fucking mad that I went to IHOP in celebration and because of Akechi and he's this piece of, he's just, Mm, he's just this piece of shit individual. Dude, I got so Dude, that's like the ultimate debate right there, dude. That's like the ultimate debate. Oh my god. Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? I I'd be awesome if you could hear him now. Brain realizes he can actually talk. You start, start to understand, to understand him, in him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. But then that would mean that more. That would mean that Akechi was around at some point when Morgana was in the metaverse to hear him talk. Unless that happened before we started the game. Like before we went into the- before we met Morgana. I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way yep, here! Yep, Dome Town! Dome Town! Oh, am I mistaken? 
I thought I, thought I, heard, I heard something, something about, about pancakes. delicious pancakes. And right here, I can reenact that moment. I was like, I was like, what? Like, like, how does he, how did he hear pancakes? I thought Morgana said pancakes. Dude, dude. <laughs> I love, I love, I love moments like that. That's how you know a story is well written. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. Yep. I love that so much, dude. That meant Akechi'd already been in the metaverse by then. And that's why I suspected that he was the Black Mask. The only reason why my suspicions of him wavered was because he, he convinced me that he wasn't it. When I should have never let my guard down. I'm so mad at right, right now. Was lying to us about and did she wiretap it when she grabbed it that night? Yep! I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my Oh app. my god. I am so happy. I'm so happy I'm the type of person who, like, looks and analyzes everything. I would be so devastated if I played this whole game and I didn't think anything of anything that was happening. I didn't double think the pancakes. I didn't look back to- I didn't remember this moment. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it would have just- it would have just devalued everything that's happening right now. Dude. And to that, I will say... Thank God for Ruby, because I'm the only reason why I'm like this is because of Ruby, so shout out. Pounding <laughs> while I was being installed so quickly. Oh damn, she installed a freaking app? God damn. Utaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> After the act. Wow. I love how he just conv he just like I guess he just convinced the the police officers. He's like did he explain to like the whole police force what was gonna happen? Like, hey, we're gonna go into this alternate dimension. We're gonna, unless they're all like inside cops, you know what I mean? Like they're all like his goons and whatnot. His own life. God damn, dude, I cannot when believe he does, this. You will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As, As will, will I. I. Of course. <sighs> and they just want to rule fucking Japan, really? Shido and Akechi? I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone. That's like some, that's literally Light Yagami. Like that's some like literal psychopathic, like next level insanity bullshit going on. There's someone else commanding Akechi. Yeah, can you rep? <laughs> you wanna know something that's really funny? It's funny to me how the main character can remember oh, all of God. these little bits and piece moments What's do maybe me the fact that our character can remember all of these bits and pieces moments that put the put the story together but every time we've come across shido like we came across him in the hotel we saw him on the news every time right there our character would get like a headache and he wouldn't remember that i love how he doesn't remember the guy who freaking started all of this the guy who freaking got him in trouble and sued him but he remembers everything else. I'm like, and then it, there you go. It turns out that that's the big bad. Someone with great authority. <laughs> it was very dark. That so I that refuse to believe that it was very dark. Like, I highly doubt that. I refuse to be like, it's very dark. No, no, no. Yeah, I've never gone outside where it's that dark that I can't make out an, a person's, uh, the way a person looks. <laughs> Someone with great authority, so great that they can order an assassination in a police station. Shido! That's why we had to make a move before they did. Shido, Shido, Shido. Dispose of the leader's fake, but think that he died, so that way his cognition would imply that he was dead. Big brain right here. It was the same as in reality. Yeah. The surrounding areas and everything. Station without even noticing. <laughs> that brings back memories. <laughs> you totally can't tell up our operations. Dude, I'm so happy that I'm like dating such a smart girl. Or once you became a target. Sis. Yeah, I could I could tell that too. I take it you use the data from my laptop? Yep. <laughs> Courtesy of Futaba. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to do <laughs> while we were checking the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is hilarious. Look at this. <laughs> the little freaking <laughs> interrogation room. Circle and X. That's hilarious. There were two things we were uh, able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. 
first <laughs> cognitive replica of him in the metaverse's <laughs> interrogation room. Wow. I cannot believe this. Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Okay. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. Nice. They looked no different from actual living people. That makes a lot of sense. I, I mentioned that so long ago. I was like, how did they do both? Like, how did, how is there real people in the metaverse? And how did we get caught in the metaverse? If we're in the metaverse, you know what I mean? After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual while keeping it catchy in the dark. Wow, this is so elaborate. Oh my God. <laughs> with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. Mm -hmm. You have to think on your feet right there. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, mm, you couldn't, we couldn't leave. get it out of the metaverse. So they never changed. That's why they, her heart was Except never changed. That was all an act. Oh? What? We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. Dude, they are the best fucking actors. They had me going. Like, I didn't notice any of this shit. This was because we waiting to ambush us. Wow. Dude, I'm just getting jabated left and right. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Yep, totally took the jabate. My god. This game's gonna feel so once I get control of my character again to start playing, it's gonna feel so different. The police <laughs> went exactly. Dude, I I couldn't even plan that far ahead. I can barely plan like what I'm wearing the next day. Let alone make an elaborate plan like this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world? The phone, the phone. All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> it seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. Asking her about it now would drag the conversation on too long. I should. Talk to her later. <laughs> Can't she disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious? Hmm. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Wow. I cannot believe that. So he killed a fake, and that's why I was like, wait. It seemed like I was like, did I just go like, did she like go back in time or something? Like she's in the exact same spot in the exact same moment, and I. Ah, oh, dude, this is too big brain. <laughs> Surely he was acting quite. Hey, look at him! In that quiet chamber. <laughs> Sitting there cross-legged, with a smirk on his face. I'll be it for a brief moment. Ah, oh, damn. That means you 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 could join the Phantom Thieves, and that means you have a cool outfit and probably a persona. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. Oh, well, it was her palace. Never mind. I take that back. Was the other mid assassination? <laughs> Pretty much. Huh. Astounding. Astounding. Yep. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. <laughs> bow chicka bow wow. Were you confident you could do it? Uh, <laughs> don't remember drugs. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll say I was because that smirk on his face and Ryuji, he was like, we got him. You know, like, it seemed like completely confident. Well, guys. As a result, we emerged victorious. Huzzah! You had lost control of yourself at the time. Yeah, that's a, uh, that, that could derail things. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. <laughs> it's so crazy it worked, basically. I love these guys. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. Yep, that we did. <laughs> but what did you do about the body? I love these guys. I think the body like deteriorated, like the like the cop did. Oh my! Oh my God! I cannot believe this game, dude! Oh my God! I can't wait to see how it like ends. I can't wait to see how it fully finishes up and wraps up. Also, I'm wondering if she don't if she don't knows about the metaverse. I'm wondering if he's, if he's been to the metaverse, and I'm wondering if he, you know what I mean? Like, I'm surprised that Ketchy doesn't have like a uh. I'm yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. I'm surprised that Ketchy doesn't have a palace. The guy's clearly distorted to like the nth degree, but I guess because he has a persona, he's exempt from having a palace. 
which is really, really odd considering the fact that him and Shido and the SIU director have been doing this before we ever became a thing. Huh. Interesting. Influence? Yeah, well, it's a it's a it's an ace detective and basically the next leader of Japan, essentially. Like the next I don't know, politician of Japan or whatever. Nobody knows he survived. Yeah. And, and because we didn't have I don't think they revealed our face or our, our identity, so the only people that know what we look like regarding this situation or this case, I would say, is either maybe Shido, I highly doubt it, but definitely Akechi. So we can walk around and people aren't going to be like, you were dead, I saw you on the news, you know? You made it back safe. That makes two of us. It was close. It was a breeze. I don't remember much. It was close. Worry for him in my heart. I didn't sell out anybody. I'm a true blue friend. Well... I knew right away that her plan worked out. Yeah, the, the, that smirk in the streets. I wanted to believe by considering what we were up against. Mm-hmm. Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. <laughs> <laughs> Can it, cat? Damn. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you got that true justice on your side, so I wonder what that ability does. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help too. Just let me know. Let's Will do. Yo, now. round of round of coffee and curry on me. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> My old brain is pooped. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. Nice. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word and I'll close shop early. What? Yo! We got the whole shop to ourselves now? What the heck? Dude, we've. Oh my gosh, dude. Sojiro is the freaking man. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. I can't wait to go back and watch other people who have streamed this game or let's play this game, like Co Carnage. I'm planning on watching. Co Carnage and Nico B are like the top two. I'm gonna watch their playthroughs of this once I finish the game. My god. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. <laughs> Just enough to get by. Let us accept his offer. What, what a, a great, great man, man exactly. <laughs> Best dad. Best coffee, bro. Finally! Ah, oh, we're making progress.